slice out from the packaging which looks very good. Maybe it's about time that I got a uh, new blade on this thing. I've had it for a while and it isn't cutting like it used to and the packaging looks very good. There's no holes in it or anything so let's pop open uh, the, uh, the wrapping and we can uh, drop that on the floor and there we go. Let's undo the uh, tape. Okay, there we go. And maybe I should go and uh, purchase some more blades for my little trusty craft knife here, as it's, uh, to tell the truth, it couldn't even cut butter. Okay, so here we go. Box is open. Let's put the craft knife out of the way. Let's open it up so that you guys can see everything. And of course, we open it up upside down. Uh, the box is uh, very nice, and as you can see, it's the uh, say uh, E Team, and it's got a nice selection of aircraft. Uh, may uh, end up getting uh, a Mustang or maybe a Corsair. So I'll end up with a bigger flight of uh, aircraft from E Team. Let's hope it's better than the uh, BF109, which I don't hold too highly. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I got a bad one. Okay, uh, this is the back of the box. And we're just going to turn it up this way. And we're going to do this slightly backwards because I opened up the box backwards. So we're going to pull out the radio first. And here we go, it's the standard e team radio. Uh, has the aerobatic uh, button, we have uh, the three mode button, uh, of course the sticks. Let's put that down out of the way for the moment. We have in here uh, one extra propeller. Um, it's always handy, Ooh, slightly different uh, propeller. It's uh, not the standard uh, nose cone that they uh, do with their uh, propellers, but it does look like, yeah, it's the quick pop-off uh, variety. Um, feels about the same in flexibility. Here we have the battery charger and wheels, plus a nice little screwdriver. And it looks like there's something else in this little baggie here. That's just the landing gear, which in this case, on the uh, Trojan, I'm actually going to put them on, as opposed to leaving them off. Uh, there's uh, little extra screws and things. Um, there's the charger, which I don't use because I have my own charger. Um, and very nicely, they've given a nice little screwdriver. So let's put all of those back in the baggie here. Let's go back to the radio for the moment, because normally they put the batteries in the back, but this feels light. And there's one battery in there. As it happens, I do have a bunch on that are fully charged. Uh, I was planning on going flying the other day, and uh, unfortunately when I got off from work, uh, the wind had picked up, and uh, it had been a long day at work, and I really wasn't in the mood to go do anything more than come home 
and kick back and relax. Okay, so here we go. Here it is. We're going to uh, undo the tape. So let's grab my butter knife and we're going to unpop everything. There we go. And let's pop her out nice and gently. And there we go. And I believe that uh, the other battery should be in here. Yes, it is. So we'll pop that one out. Oh, that sits in there a little bit differently. Normally they sit in lengthways. And this one actually pops in uh, radically. And I can see why, because the cockpit here is a lot higher than on the Spitfire and the BF-109. So, and that should help with the center of gravity. I like the color scheme. Uh, U.S. Navy colors. Um, I have a friend, and uh, she's uh, ex-Navy. And a uh, little shout out to Alandra. Um, hopefully uh, she'll get to see this uh, video. And it will uh, cheer her, her up and uh, make her day. So here we go. We're going to uh, pause right here. And I'm going to put the wheels on. And uh, we will go from there. Okay, it's uh, set. I uh, didn't need binding. For some reason it was just being awkward. There you go. See the uh, ailerons. Elevator. Rudder. We haven't switched on the engine yet. Now let's see which uh, mode it's in. Okay, that appears to be beginner mode. So let's check. Intermediate. And... No, okay. This is uh, beginner mode. Intermediate and expert. Okay, we're going to put it back in beginner mode and we're going to uh, do the throttle. Okay, she looks like she's ready to be taken out for her maiden flight. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen today. Um, the wind is still pretty windy out there. It's gusting up to 15 to 20 miles an hour. So we're grounded. Unfortunately, I have uh, work for the next uh, six days. So maybe next Sunday or Monday, I'll have uh, time to do the maiden and record it so you guys get to watch it. In the interim, we're going to unplug the battery. There we go. And turn off the radio. There we go.